Calle Ocho, nearly a million people, music, food, street festival, are you ready? Okay guys, you got us. It's actually just a setup. Cayocho is the last event of Carnival Miami. It's a huge street festival that started in 1978 and has grown over the years. It's gonna be about a million people here tomorrow. And guess who else is gonna be here? Me? Tonight we have about 20 officers out here to shut down two miles with the Cayocho so the vendors can come and set up. Tomorrow we're expecting over a million people to be there, so there'll be hundreds of officers there to make sure that everyone's safe. All right guys, it's late, I'm tired. I'm gonna go home and get some rest because we got a big day ahead of us later on today. So, we'll see you then. All right, I had a good sleep and the party started. I told you there was gonna be a lot of people. You guys, check this out. Alright, this is our command center for the festival. This is where we have our dispatchers, and if any of our officers out there in the festival need any resources, this is where they come from. If we have to make any arrests, this is where we bring them, as you see in the background, our prisoner transport bus. Today we have over 200 officers here for the event. And uh, right now, we're gonna go take a walk over there so you guys can check it out. All right, so the festival is right here. Let me show you. And that's where our command post is. So, festival, command post. We're like a block away. Guys, we got in the mule. The mule is basically a golf cart on steroids. We got it hooked up with police lights. And we're gonna go now and drive through the festival. All right, let's go. He's gonna give us the story behind Kiwanis Club. Here we go, here we go. So the Kiwanis was formed in 1975. This is our 40th anniversary of the Kiwanis Club and our 39th Calle Ocho. The Kiwanis Club, is full is staffed by volunteers, close to 200 volunteers from all aspects of, of industry: officers, lawyers, doctors, professional IT people. Every you know, 
every gambit of every industry you can imagine. And every year we put on Cayocho as well as Carnival Miami and is our largest fundraiser. Cayocho is a fundraiser. Everybody thinks it's something put on by the city, something put on by the tourism board. Nothing. It's a fundraiser. Everyone pays to have a stage, everyone pays to have a vendor spot. That money goes directly back to the community and we make a difference. Awesome. <laughs> Alright guys, Cayo Ocho runs about two miles long. So events like this with this many people, we have to cut it in half. So we have an east and a west side of the event. They both work off of two different channels, dispatch channels, and that's so officers can respond quicker in case of an emergency. There's a lot of people here. So to drive one of these or a fire rescue vehicle through this crowd to get to them quickly will only work if we have it divided in two for different resources available. The festival starts at 11 a.m. and it goes on until 7 p.m. But we don't leave until the next morning because we have to stay for breakdown. Let's keep it moving. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, these are our bike units. They're important to have in large events like this because they're the fastest to get around the crowds. If there's an emergency, these guys are the first ones there to respond. So, bike unit. Very important to have at large events such as Coyote. That guy's gonna sit in the chair and the other guy's gonna try to jump over him with a bike. Almost, almost. This could be a viral video. Alright, no viral video. Good job. Yeah, I would have done that, but um, I didn't bring my bike shorts. Usually I like to wear my bike shorts because I'm going to be doing stuff like that, so the pants kind of restrict me a little bit. Let's keep it moving. This is our tow truck detail staging area. This is where they uh, just wait around, and when an officer calls out about cars blocking driveways that are illegally parked, mainly blocking driveways down here, there's a lot of residents that uh, live along 8th Street and cars will come, they don't know, and they just park right in front of the, uh, they park right in front of the driveway. Our tow truck detail comes, hook up the cars, and take them. They already done about 40 today, right? They already did about 40 today. Wow! All right, let's keep it moving. So, there you guys go. That's how we handle big events such as Sky Ocho with large crowds. There's a lot of thought, there's a lot of planning, there's a lot of manpower, resources that go into an event like this one. But we've been doing it for years and thankfully, everyone comes out here to have a good time and enjoy Miami. Alright guys, I'm Nick with Miami PD. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends who are vlogging, City of Miami Police Department, innovative, creative, doing new things. If you guys got any questions, put it down in the comments. I'm here to answer anything you guys want. Alright, signing off. Oh, they love me. They love me.